Hi! In this video, we'll view how to create a cart history report using the Webpack user interface. We'll then begin by opening our Webpack user interface. We'll then navigate under Reports, Reports, and under the list, we'll go ahead and select the option for the cart history report. We'll then double click on it, and under the pop up window, we can select our different filters. On the first tab, we'll select the date and time filter, where we can select a specific date, a specific hour, range of days for our cart history report. The second tab that we have is the transaction filter. Here we can select by account or by the general admin account. We can select if we want only the cart transactions, the acknowledged transactions, any operator messages, or any clear messages. We can also narrow it down by ADVs. Here, it could help us filter out or narrow down our cart history for a specific reader or a specific door. By just selecting it, we can then just hit OK and narrow it down to that specific door. The third tab that we have brings us the option to filter out the cart history by a cart holder information. We can narrow it down by a first name, a last name, a specific cart number. We also have the option to narrow it down to a specific reader. If we already have tracking areas, we can specify by a tracking area and a floor. We can select the codes that we only want to see for those card holders. Or we can narrow it down by note fields. Once we have all our filter selected, we can then have different options to select as what to do with this report. The first option that we have is print preview. Then we have print, export file, estimate the amount of pages the report will have, or even restore the default values for each filter. The print preview option gives us a view of how it will be printed out. The export file brings us the option to export the cart report either as a Excel file or a document file. The first setting that we can configure is the delimiter option, either we, if we select it by tab, semicolon, comma, spaces, or other options. We can also select the directory as where we're going to save this report that we're printing out or exporting. By clicking under the three dots, it brings us the option to search for our destination path. Once we have the destination path selected, we'll just then go ahead and hit OK. Under the default file name, this is where we decide what type of file we want to print out. If we want a Word document, we just need to add the extension .txt. If we want an Excel file, we just need to add a .csv extension for a comma separated value file. The next option is if we want to include the name of the report as a file name, or if we want to include the date and time this file name was created. We also have a third option as to save the report as an HTML format. Once we have those settings configured, we can then just go ahead and hit OK, and it will then export our file into our computer.